Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we've got a very special unboxing of the Fairy Loot March Anniversary Box. Now, I have no idea, as always, what the theme is. I can never remember from month to month because the box doesn't get here yet and then they're already announcing the theme for the next month and then I am just confused. So, let's just open this box up. Isn't it beautiful and purple? Which we all know is my favorite color. Okay. I think it's like memories or like fantastic moments or something. Oh, everybody, welcome back. Ferret to the party. Memorable, yes, memorable moment. See, March 2018. This is the art print for this month. There it is. So I'm gonna read the spoiler card and then we'll dive into the box. So this month we decided to include something a little unique, cork bunting. This item is brought to you by Paladone and it's the perfect bunting to hang on your shelves or desk area. You can add your favorite badges, photos, artwork, and notes to display all of your own memorable moments. You can also get crafty and paint the cork to match the color of your shelves. The possibilities are limitless. We are so excited to include the exclusive Rune Ceremony Scarf by Fiction Tea Designs. This scarf is inspired by the Rune Ceremonies and the Mortal Instruments and Cassandra Clare's other Shadowhunter books. These runes grant various supernatural abilities and on the scarf you'll find runes for angelic power, speed, soundless, clairvoyance, fearless, deflection, erotzi, and talent. We could all use some of that in our daily lives, couldn't we? The Triwizard Tournament is one of the most memorable moments in the Harry Potter series, so we had to include this exclusive Goblet of Fire candle by Paper Flames Candle Company. Isn't the mini jar adorable and aren't the blue wax swirls gorgeous? Bilbo's birthday party in The Lord of the Rings is another memorable moment. We can so clearly picture Gandalf's fireworks, we knew we had to include an item inspired by this moment, so we are thrilled to bring you this exclusive Bilbo's birthday cake vegan soap by Geeky Clean. It's vanilla and strawberry cake scented. Okay, y'all, just like the bath salts, someone explain to me what vegan soap is, please. I just, I really, I don't know the answer and I would like to know the answer. Thank you. It's vanilla and strawberry cake scented. I'm not a big vanilla person, so I don't feel like this is gonna be my favorite, but whatever. Snuggle up and brew yourself a cup of toast to the warden of the North hot chocolate. Mmm, I do like hot chocolate. Brought to you by Eponine. This hot chocolate refers to Jon Snow from Game of Thrones when he became Warden of the North. Till and Dill designed the lovely artwork. Doesn't it look so much like the North? We love the crow detailing too. And I'm going to save the book until we get to it. So, here's our Bilbo's birthday cake soap. It's like ombre. It's... Let's see what we got. I smell mostly strawberry. I smell mostly strawberry, which is a good thing because I'm not a big vanilla person. So here is the label, Bilbo's birthday cake. And you see, you can see from the side that it's kind of ombre, like it goes from dark to the light color. I might be able to, there we go, dark to the light color. Okay, next up we have Toast to the Warden of the North, our vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free, sustainably sourced hot chocolate um, by Ebony. <laughs> Tells you exactly how to prepare it on the back. Of course, I live in Atlanta, and though today's weather is cold and dreary, hopefully soon it will not be this cold because it's, it's cold today in Atlanta. Cork bunting. Okay, I was like, I'm not so sure I understand what cork bunting is until I read it. And I was like, oh, it's like a cork board. Okay, cool. Um, five cork flags with string and pins. Okay, I get it. So maybe now that I have this, I can put this on my bookshelves and put my art prints on this from these boxes. Because, you know, I've been trying to figure out what to do with these art prints and I really haven't gotten a good answer for it, but 
maybe maybe this will do maybe this will do there's that wonderful fluff so our goblet of fire candle is fresh bread and chocolate i love both of those things so hopefully this candle is magnificent it is absolutely gorgeous No, 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 don't like it. I'm sorry, the smell, I don't know. I don't know, I just, something about it. Something about it, not my favorite. Um, let me read the book. Okay, no, this is just a bonus item. It is the Bells button, which I just started the Bells. And there's apparently a bookmark around here. Yeah, I just started the bells on my Kindle, um, and so I've been meaning to keep reading it, but I got distracted reading um, a couple of other books. So, and before we get to the book, this is our scarf, right? It is a scarf. It is our scarf with all of our Cassandra Claire runes. It's, nice. it's definitely, once again, a decorative scarf. It is not one for warmth, even though we could probably give you a little bit of warmth, especially if you're just trying to like cover up your chest or something, you know. But it is really nice. I like it a lot. It's definitely Shadowhunter-esque. Like, it's not too glitzy and glammy. Like, it's what you need it's basic it's exactly what you need so now for the book okay our brilliant featured book of the month is state of sorrow by melinda salisbury it is filled with political intrigue magic mystery and a cutthroat race for power this hardcover edition was printed exclusively by fairy loot the standard edition is paperback so you won't get this version anywhere else we hope you also enjoy the signed book plate, author letter, and postcard. So let's see, State of Sorrow. Have to break it. My postcard, this is, or my note's a little banged up, but it's okay. Whoa, it's, whoo, author letter, long. Very lightly printed. You can't even see it. Hello, fairy looters. My name is Melinda Salisbury, and I'm so happy that the book chosen for this month's fairy loot box is mine. What makes it even more special is this box is the second anniversary box, so now I feel fancy. The idea for State of Sorrows came from four places. A bridge in Bosnia and Herzegovina. God, I can't pronounce this. Herzegovina, a, a, a Florence in the Machine song, a historical imposter who could have changed everything, and an exhibition about Queen Victoria. Maybe one day I'll tell you all about them, but for now, let me tell you about the book. Sara lives in a country called Ranon, maybe, which for the last 18 years has been kept in a state of perpetual grief by her father. The Chancellor, who can't forgive himself for an accident that happened before she was born. And soon, to keep himself in mourning, he resorts to dark, deadly methods. The Council of Renan implores Sorrow to rise up and depose her father. And finally, despite her reluctance, she agrees. Only for a, only for a force from the past to reappear, throwing everything into turmoil. It's a story about grief and imposter syndrome and how hard it can be to believe in yourself. It's a story about politics and ambition and the lengths some people will go to to win. It's about a young woman who has to step up when the adults around her keep, keep letting her down. A name, a theme, a theme, I think a lot of young people can connect with. And it's about found family and how homes are people and not places. 
There's some romance and some drama and humor, but mostly there's a girl and her friends trying to right the wrongs that came before them. I'm pretty proud of it and I hope you like it. Melinda Salisbury. Ooh, this cover is gorgeous. Ooh, this cover is gorgeous. This is State of Sorrow. cover is so like watery and my cover got a little banged up in the shipping it seems see it? can you see it so it got a little banged up that's okay that's why i read ebooks let's see what's under here nothing too fancy under here but this cover is really nice um so it sounds interesting, a good um, YA, I'm not gonna say fantasy, but a YA, YA novel. Let's see, Fairy Scoop, Memorable Moments, March 2018. Um, it gives you like a little breakdown. They give like a lot of like memories and all that kind of stuff and they tell you some of the box boxes they highlight some booktubers some booktubers who are already really big on booktube they highlight some bookstagrammers and some of their favorite pictures make sure to follow them got some trilogies that they like um, they highlight all the books that they put in I, my first box, box was in August um, with the Wicked Like Wildfire box. It's interesting, they titled the, the, the Everless book, The Everless Girl by Sarah Holland in here. That's interesting, because it's called Everless. But some great books, Some great, they've given out, they've given some great books. Um, but next month's theme is Whimsical Journeys. This box is perfect for people that love epic and whimsical journeys filled with magic, mythology, and unlikely alliances. You'll find items that are inspired by Narnia, Fantastic Beasts, and Where to Find Them, The Hobbit, The Darkest Minds, and Percy Jackson. We're including some really unique items, and there will be two items we've never included in any of our previous boxes. So far, we're excited to reveal that this box will feature an exclusive tote bag designed by Stella's bookish art that you won't be able to get anywhere else. It's absolutely gorgeous. This book we have selected is a fantastic story filled with Norse and Celtic mythology. We hope you're ready for some Vikings and magic. This is such a fun book and we are so excited for you guys to read it. The edition we are featuring will also have exclusive foiling on the cover. The standard edition won't have any foiling. It will also come with a signed book plate, a letter from the author, and other exclusive goodies relating to the book. Woo! So that is this month's March Memorable Moments box by Fairy Loot. Um, I think they've done a good job sticking with the theme and definitely highlighting a lot of big, big things that happen in some favorite, favorite books. Um, some of you may know this is probably gonna be my last Fairy Loot box. Um, it's not because I don't love the Fairy Loot box. I do love the Fairy Loot box. It's just expensive and I think it's more expensive because I'm in the US and they are a UK based company. And so I you know their shipping is really, really expensive. And I know I can get other book description box, maybe not as big as, um, sorry, this month's bookmark. Maybe not as big as Fairy Loot is, but I know I can support other people who've made other book boxes for a little bit less. And, um, but anyway, what did you think of this month's box? Um, and their purple box, which I will definitely keep their purple box up in my bookshelves. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. If you are back, thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel. And don't forget to follow me on all social medias. But until next time, keep turning the pages.